Now, on the diplomatic front, Seoul's foreign affairs chief will be in Laos later this year, or this week rather, to attend the ASEAN Regional Forum. Not only will he use the multilateral gathering to take part in carrying out the ARF agenda this year, he's also set to hold a handful of sideline bilateral meetings with his counterparts. Well, what's grabbing even more attention is that North Korea's foreign minister is expected to be in Laos for this year's forum. Thus, a possibility of a one-on-one -on -one between the top diplomats of South and North Korea. Here's our foreign affairs correspondent, Kwon Sua, with more. A full packed schedule is in store for South Korea's top diplomat upon arriving in Vientiane, the capital of Laos, this weekend. Seoul's foreign ministry announced Thursday that Foreign Minister Yoon byung se will not only attend five ASEAN meetings, but also aim to have more than a dozen meetings on the sidelines. Currently, talks with 13 countries are being planned. It's expected to be a much tighter schedule than in previous years. The ministry spokesperson did not specify which counterparts Yoon is expected to meet, but he explained that many countries that have undergone governmental changes or have sworn in new foreign affairs ministers, including Myanmar, are included. Attention is especially focused on whether Minister Yoon could hold talks with his North Korean counterpart Lee Yong-ho, who is expected to be at the ARF, one of the rare international events the North regularly takes part in. When asked about a possible one-on-one -on -one with the North, South Korea's foreign ministry said no such meeting has been decided on. On Lee's actual presence at the event, officials speaking on condition of anonymity say the North Korean delegation has reserved a hotel near the venue. The South China Sea dispute, the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD to South Korea, and North Korea's missile and nuclear provocations are predicted to top the agenda at the gathering. Officials say it may be a challenge to issue a joint statement that sends a strong message on North Korea, as the host country Laos has close ties to the communist regime. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.